Today I'm going to share with you why you need to stop beginning your presentations with good morning and thank you and do this instead. What is this? Let's find out. <laughs> So by the way, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out on future videos. So what is the reason? Why do you need to stop saying good morning, thank you in your presentations? Well, you don't want to be predictable. Being predictable is equals to being boring in a presentation. True? So when you say good morning or good afternoon or good evening, or any predictable thing that they know you're gonna say, you know, or saying thank you, thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me, right? Thank you, sorry this might be a little boring. All of these options, right, they're not good. Also, apologizing is terrible. Do you think that's a good thing? No, it's very, very predictable. Meaning, most presenters do it. And again, being predictable means being boring. So stop being predictable. So what should you do instead? Well, what's the opposite of being predictable? Being unpredictable, right? So you always want to start your presentation with an attention grabber. You want to grab the audience's attention from the start. Because when you do that, when you do that well, yeah, here's what happens. The audience will instantly check a box in their mind. You know, audiences have two boxes. I've asked thousands of my workshop participants, right? What do you think about when you think about a presentation? It's either going to be what? Either boring? Again, if you start with thank you or good morning, check on the boring side. Or, yes, interesting, right? Interesting. So when you start with an attention grabber, they take that little box. They get that first great impression from you that your presentation is actually going to be interesting. So start with an attention grabber. So how can you start with an attention grabber? So I made many, many videos about that. I'm gonna leave a good one for you somewhere up here. Make sure to check it out. But let me give you three quick options that work very well, that work phenomenal, that you can use instantly. The first one is you can ask a question. Yeah, how many of you would like to know how we can make our brand more successful? So you can ask for a show of hands, you can ask an open-ended question, yet yeah, there's so many, so many options. Questions are fantastic because questions hook the mind, yet yeah, they draw the audience in. The second thing that you can do as an attention grabber, you can share an interesting fact at the beginning of your presentation. How many of you would like to know how we lost 30% of our customers to our top two competitors? Not good news, right? But it's attention grabbing. And if that's what your presentation is about, again, an interesting fact, 30% or whatever it might be, can draw the audience in right away. And the third option that works really, really well, it's using a prop, using a prop, right? And it can be anything. It can be something simple, like a bottle of water, right? As you can see over here in this bottle of water, we only have 50% of the water. This water represents our energy that we seem to be having throughout the day. So here today I'm going to share with you three tips how we can increase our energy level at the workplace and make sure our energy level is always full. Yeah, so if somebody talks about how they want their team to have more energy at work, they could use that water bottle as an example. There are so many props to use. Again, these are just three simple examples. Check out the other videos. They go into more depth. So comment down below one time. What is your great takeaway from today? Yeah, I hope you're gonna stop saying good morning, yeah, or thank you. All right, and use one of these attention grabbers instead. Yeah, by the way, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.